the mail inside the mail room at the Adams County Jail, where all the incoming and outgoing mail is um, opened and sorted, checked for contraband. Clerks checking envelopes and reading letters now watch out for something new. Seems like day after day after day after day. The daily hunt for drugs in the mail has expanded to the very paper sent to inmates behind bars. Uh, this one here is actually a way that they try to do it. Jail detectives Jim McKenzie and Matthew Marquez lay out the cases, like this Easter card with a faint stain that made them take a closer look. It's like lighter yellow over here and you can see the darker yellow on this side where it looks like it's been wet and it's dried. Or this Christmas card with hand-drawn art hiding contraband. He specifically wanted methamphetamine under the blue sky. When we tested those areas of the card, they did test positive for methamphetamine. Deputies say they charged a woman for spraying liquefied meth onto the card. The inmate knows that they can just tear the paper apart and it's coated with the drugs so they can take it. Jail chief Chris Laws just yeah, they just usually eat it. Says the hidden drugs cause problems inside the jail. Almost a daily basis we're having to use Narcan on someone because they're overdosing on fentanyl within the facility. It's not just Adams County. In May, Larimer deputies arrested 12 people on felony charges for sending drugs into the jail. They say the methods included paper soaked in narcotics and narcotics infused into the ink. We catch some, I'm sure there's some that goes by. It's a constant battle of trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Adams County deputies say it feels five times worse here this year than ever before. The guys in here have nothing but time. So they take that time to try and devise ways that they can outsmart us. It is not just drug soaked paper. Adams County detectives also report finding Suboxone strips hidden in manila envelopes, sometimes even fentanyl pills stuffed inside the soles of orthopedic shoes. So it really becomes a game of whack-a-mole. It's like a constant battle. There's always something new, a new creative way to get drugs into jails. Yeah, and they sort about 450 pieces of mail every day. So it's really tough to find them too. Yeah, like you said, they're getting ahead of it. You know, it's hard. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Cole.